Today's short prayer is for us to stay connected to Christ. As we go through Easter week, remember that Judas betrayed Jesus for a price. Judas spent at least a couple years right next to Jesus, but some sort of way he stopped being personal and intimate, which allowed him to sell Jesus out. Let us pray that we don't have a price that we could be bought for to walk away from Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, today we pray for our relationship with you. We pray that we remain close to you. If Judas, who walked right next to you and seen you do miracles for a couple of years, was able to get bought out, we recognize we too could fall into the same trap. Lord, sometimes we may think that just being around other Christians and going to church is what you ask for, but in reality, you're looking for more. Help us not to value other things more than we value you. We remember the disciples at the Last Supper. Lord, Judas was there, right there next to you, and he managed to get up from the table and go out and betray you. Lord, sometimes we go to church, and upon leaving, we go right back into the vices and idols that we carry in our hearts. Help us to get rid of those things that allow for space to come in between us. Help us to stay in deep fellowship and communion with you. Help us to stay connected and not just near you. And Lord, should we find ourselves becoming distant and considering selling you out? Pull us back. The same night that Judas betrayed you, Peter de denied you. In the same way Peter was able to be reconciled, though, Lord, we pray that if we should ever become distant, you will reconcile us. Forgive us of the times that we came up short and help us to stay close. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, take some time to examine your closeness, not in proximity, but in relationship to Christ. Remember, prayer changes things, so never stop praying.